in the kitchen we generate a lot of lobster shells. Yeah. And what we do, we dry them out in the oven. Yeah. And give them a good crush. Right. And in a pestle and mortar. Once these are all crushed, we have a selection of uh, yes. kilner jars in the kitchen, quite a few. We get all the shells. Which have already been crushed. Which are all up crushed up. We try and do five or six kilners at a time. Yeah. Do you use a lot of this stuff then? A lot of lobster, especially at the moment, it's in season, it's fantastic. Yeah. Let's get it all in there. When does the lobster season sort of start? Uh, well, really? recently, about three weeks ago, it starts getting really good, doesn't it? The prices look good, they start coming down, then I start aiming for it for the menu. Okay, now, what else goes in there? The rest of the ingredients, you want about that much? The rest of the ingredients, we can put in this, well, we'll start with the dry spices. Yeah, okay. Star anise. Okay, because that nice sort of aniseed flavour to the background. You know it's in bisques and yeah. fennel and stuff like that. Two or three star anise go straight in there. Gives a sort of slightly sweet mm. flavour, doesn't it? Yeah. Aromatic. Some peppercorns. Yeah. White Fancy. ones there. White ones, ones peppercorns. Yeah. I like putting some sprig of thyme in there. Yes. A big sort of piece there. Good old English. Yeah, English thyme. Bay thyme. Leaves. Two or three baileys. Thymus vulgaris, I believe it's called. Thymus. Vulgar thyme. Yeah. Common, yeah. common thyme to you and me. And <laughs> this is sunflower. sunflower. Yeah. A nice plain one. So straight in yeah. with the sunflower oil. Okay. You know, if you fill it right up and drop. This is sitting around in there. A nice but big wedge of garlic. Don't be shy with the garlic. No. Let me close yeah. the lid. Yeah. And help me close it. There we go. Yeah. So that's okay. Looks pretty as it is. There it is there. That's the oil. Oh, great. Great. Oh, great. We use the steamers in the restaurant. We put yeah. steamers on 90 degrees, but we can use a pan of water yeah. sitting at 90 degrees. And that stays in about 45, 50 minutes. And what? And that does what? It sterilises the, mm. the kilner jar right. to help preserve it as well. Yeah, yeah. I okay. see. So it doesn't look like a terrible whiff of gone off oil lobster, by the way. I'd love to do this, but I'd be scared that I wouldn't sterilise that properly. Well, no, I mean, as long as you've got, you know, you can check the temperature, you can have a little probe or use a sugar thermometer, mm -hmm. 90 degrees sterilising it, you know, if you're concerned. And that's the inside yeah. you're, you're testing. Now, this is something we made five days ago. Now, how can um, you tell it's been there for five days? We've got the labels and, and there's a tick <laughs> hey. each day. Each day it's been turned, we have a tick on the, on the labels. So you turn it over just to sort of get you the oysters. twist up and down to swirl the shells around and yeah. you get this, all this colour. Oh, it's amazing, amazing colour. Yes, I'll have that.